Yo, what up, my peeps? This is Miss Matenga, and this is Mike Diamond, Dizzy D, right here. You can call me Sha Diamond. You call her Sha Diamond, please. And we are here to school the children with another installment of homework. Pass the bowl, girl. Huh. Pass that bowl to the left hand side. What? There we go. I'm going to pull up the topic this time. Please. All right. And thank you, viewers, for sending in your topic suggestions. Perhaps this will be one of your topics today. Oh, the topic today is what are poppers? Hmm, what, what are poppers, girl? Like jalapeno poppers? It, well, yes, but what, what are poppers in a, in, a, in a gay context? Well, poppers, for the kids, you see, is a substance called amyl nitrate, often referred to as a video head cleaner, but it is, it's an inhalant, uh, something you, um, you know, something you inhale just before you stick a big old dick in your mouth to get that, that you know, that feeling of I'm a whore and I deserve this. You need poppers you know. for that. <laughs> well, well, so Papa. poppers are also. Papa, can you hear me? <laughs> Sorry, poppers are also known as room deodorizers room and uh, stereo head cleaner. It's kind of extreme aromatherapy, but what it does is it dilates your blood vessels or something. Exactly, so it's your brain actually sort of. It's the same. Uh, uh, sort of thing uh, when you're drowning, like your brain is sort of starved for oxygen, and so you get you get a kind of head rush, uh, uh, a euphoria, as they say. Any faggot over 40 that has migraines, you know they've been working those pop mm. or sounds a little bit like Harvey Feierstein. Hello, darling. Right. Miss uh, Miss Diamond, it looks like you're wearing lipstick, by the way. Yeah. So poppers were like really super big in the 70s, and bitches they would were. just like douse a rag with them and time around their face and hit the dance floor. Well, that's that's something else, Shadaisy. That is cold ethyl. Uh, and there's oh, actually that's that's ethyl, ethyl chloride. That's ethyl chloride. That's what you uh, that's what that's, that's a what great you drag spray. Name. Ethyl chloride. Yeah. I do like that. She's tripping yo. Uh, and that's something you spray on a rag and then you stick that in uh, in your mouth and you suck on that and it's it's actually a much more uh, a powerful sort of head rush. We don't suggest any of these. I've read, I'm unsure, but I've read that uh, one hit of poppers uh, kills more brain cells than smoking pot every day for a year. I'm not sure if I could qualify uh, that, but it's probably not particularly propaganda. safe. It might be propaganda, I, but I actually, it um, can't be. It, it can't be good for you, but honey, it does good things to you. I had ethyl chloride sprayed directly into my mouth, not on a rag. Mm -hmm. um, many years ago, a drag queen named Venice Charles, if she's still out there living. Um, living, and what, what we mean living. Honey, we was in the parking lot of some club, and she said, open your mouth. And anytime someone says, open your mouth, I do. And she sprayed it directly into my mouth. And let me tell you, bitch, I was high for 40 minutes and could <laughs> swear I had a conversation <laughs> with Stevie Wonder. <laughs> You know, I, strangely enough, I had ethyl mertz spray directly once into my mouth. And I was high for about a year and a half. What did it taste like? Um, it tasted like Albuquerque? Um, like Albuquerque and old beer. Um, and the ethyl chloride and poppers are very, very big in the fisting community. Are they big in the fisting community? They really are. They really, really are. Because, like, I mean, listen, if you're going to sit on, you know, an enormous black dildo the size of, like, a fucking Johnny Pump, you gotta have, you know, you gotta have something to, so it helps to take the edge. It expands take the edge off. their horizons and their sphincters. Is that the idea? It, it, yes, it expands the, uh, the, the sphincter and the muscles. Do you do poppers? Like this morning? Well, I mean, do you do them? Ha I have done them, yes, I yeah. have done them. But do you, carry, do you have your own? Like on me right now? Is there a brand that you prefer? Um, Amsterdam. Is that what it's called, really? Yeah. So I know there's like Rush, Locker Room, uh, Amsterdam, Jungle Juice, Jungle Juice, Blue Boy. I wonder, is Jungle Juice only for the African American community? Uh, Filipinos live in the jungle, Mama. That's that's true. That's true. Don't be racist. This, uh, jungle Goose. Jungle Goose, honey. It's it's printed in Tagalog. Oh, I, mommy. For coconut sex. But I would like to say that poppers give me a headache, and it's your choice to do them or not. I say don't do them because it's going to lead you down a path where you're just open to more things and killing brain cells. Uh, I say anything and everything in moderation, so long as you are keeping a particularly cool head about yourself. Um, but that shit gives me a headache. I'll stick. Yeah. I'll stick my fist in your ass. You don't. I don't need the poppers. Yeah. Thank you. Just some Advil, and we're good to go. This is Mike Diamond for homework. <laughs> this is Matinga. You've been learned. Thank you.